Hi, welcome to this uh, presentation. This is talking about my client's ebook. Um, first of all, it's been loaded into Adobe Acrobat CS3 Professional. Um, you can actually get an Adobe Ac Acrobat uh, free for reading only, but this version is to create documents and stuff like that, which is not necessary to view this document. Okay, so I'm just going to talk about the options it has, um, some of some of the fe some of its great features. Uh, so let's get underway. So we have the client's document in the middle, um, the book, nerve endings, and mitochondria missing links. It's the first edition. Uh, yep, we have a fresh look. Um, this style was taken from Microsoft Office. Um, they have template styles and throughout the document we have consistent okay so throughout this document we have a consistent style um, one of Microsoft Office's advantages was to have a, a, a consistent style sheet with a theme the, the front cover again was supplied via the Microsoft Office template it's a very vibrant good looking color so to begin with uh, there's a couple of ways of scrolling through this document. There's at the moment we have it in fast scroll mode, so you see the entire page in the in the middle, and it's zoomed out. It's quite difficult to read. So if I scroll the mouse down, as you see, it will skip to the next page and the next page and the next page. This is a very uh, fast scrolling feature. Um, alternatively, you can make it full screen um, or expand to the width of the screen is this option here and what this does is it allows intricate scrolling at the top here we also have other zoom modes so for instance at the top here we also have um, predefined zoom modes Currently we're at 79.6, which is the width of the document. You can zoom in closer, like for instance 400%. Use this hand here and yeah, scroll along, which is, well 400% is ridiculously close. Uh, these buttons here, this, this button allows you to zoom out. Um, and this button here will allow you to zoom in. Okay, we also have the um, magnifying selection tool so what you can do here for instance is say if I want to see this section here I could I could highlight that section by clicking and dragging a little box like that and it will zoom straight in okay so those are the zoom modes let's take it back to the existing size um, to get around this document, there are a couple of um, quick reference techniques. First of all, if you know the page number you want to get to, for instance, 10 is the introductory page of this document, uh, you just type it in up there, and boom, you're right there. Um, as you can see from this box here, it says 10 of 157 pages, so that represents that there's 157 pages in this document. There is another way of getting around the document as well. You have a preview window. This option here gives you a preview window of the pages. When you click on one of these pages, for instance, it takes you to that page. Um, if I just click the width. Notice uh, there's red um, border marks here. This represents the actual viewing screen. You can see, um, So, for instance, if I click here, you'll notice that's what I can view okay we also so that's one way of scrolling through you you know you can get a preview on the side of which page and you just go all right I want to go here so you just click bookmarks are a ideal way of getting around it's kind of like a contents page for instance if I wanted to get to the visible hypothesis I could just click here and it will take me to that chapter straight away Okay, so that's a relatively quick way of getting around. Um, let's go back to page one. And what else have we got? Okay, so throughout this document as well, we've hyperlinked pages. 
here we have um, uh, an illustrations uh, page where you can jump to sections of the document for instance here we have a diagram description and then if you click here for instance a the hand will change to a pointy clicking hand you click there and we scroll up and we can see a diagram it will relate to again we can use a selection tool notice the M and C for instance oops let's go back notice the M and C are quite small so you can really get into these diagrams and get up close and personal okay so those are some of the cool little features for navigating the document quickly and to zoom in and out of the document um, they're pretty good accessibility features we've also got the added bonus of reading out aloud uh, if you activate this document we can then have the computer I'll just take you to page 10 the computer read a document out to you you can do this uh, page or you can do the entire document for instance we'll just do by page at the moment so as you can see here it says read this page only I hope you can hear that okay so I'll just stop that now Okay, so if you're you're blind and you want to read this book, I guess that's the technique you use for that. Um, or say if you couldn't read, for instance. <coughs> um, we also have print options here. So if you click on the printer, this allows you to print all pages, for instance, or you can define certain areas of the document you'd like to print out so one of ten for instance would print one of ten pages you know the first up till the tenth page etc so that's quite nice if we we can also close the document well minimize the document a little bit and you'll notice that the document resizes automatically you know so that's that's quite a nice little feature too when trying to put a document next to another document for instance ah we also have a selection tool so I just need to deactivate this first we also have a selection tool where you can copy um, so for instance if you was doing some a dissertation for instance and you wanted to use this part as a reference you can just highlight and then right click and copy and there you go and then you'd be able to paste that in to the document Pretty much throughout this document, a consistent style has been used, and, and the same with color scheme. As you can see here, um, we we mainly use the blue and white. I just see now. You'll see throughout this document, we use blue and white a lot. These are the company colors of NeuroPress Limited. We also have uh, headers and footers here, so we have a nice styled footer here with the uh, page number, and we also have uh, NeuroPress. If I just zoom in, I guess. So we also have. Um, so at the top, we have NeuroPress, which is the company name of every page, as well as the title of every page as well. So. That pretty much is everything I wanted to show. Oh, there's one more feature too. Um, there's a really good reading mode. You, what you can do here is you can click reading mode, and it takes away the top bar, top bar there. So you can just gives gives a nicer way of reading the document. You can also rotate the document. If you need to rotate it, I'm not going to do that now. Oh, actually, I'll, I will. Yeah. So there you go. You can rotate the document um, counterclockwise, and you can also view the document as two pages at a time instead of one. So there we go. 
and that's about it for this uh, tutorial I hope you enjoy it I hope you enjoyed it and come back for the website tutorial next bye